What's up everyone? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. Today we're doing another G.I. Joe toy review. Today we're taking a look at the 25th anniversary Viper Cobra Infantry Trooper. So this is a really cool figure. Um, I've always really liked these Vipers and um, I had an extra one laying around so I figured eh, why not let's do a review of it. So that's what we're looking at today. We're going to go ahead and uh, unbox it for you and do a review. So, stick with us. The Cobra Viper. So this is the uh, cartoon card back. Basically the only difference is that it does have the uh, little logo up here at the front saying from the G.I. Joe cartoon series. And the logo on it is not the foil embossed version. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much the same as the 25th anniversary release. The card art is really awesome. And looking at the back, you see traditional, some other characters, file card. Yeah, the Cobra Viper. It's a pretty cool figure. Uh, the character itself has always been one of my favorites. Um, I think I end up saying that a lot. I guess I have a lot of favorites, but at any rate, this is the Cobra Vipers, and we're just going to go ahead and unbox it here. Got my handy dandy X-Acto knife. Poke a hole in it here and just kind of go all the way around it. If I can do that without cutting my finger apart. And it just slides right out. And now this is just recycling material. And here's what you get with the uh, whole package here. Go ahead and just remove this. So we've got uh, the backpack. We've got the assault rifle. Uh, there is tape on the assault rifle holding it in place, so I'm just going to go ahead and slice the tape off. The assault rifle. The figure itself. And then the figure stand. And the rest of this is just uh, regular packing material. So here is everything that comes with the set. And we'll go ahead and just zoom in and take a closer look at the figure next. So we have the uh, traditional figure stand here. Has the nice Cobra logo on it. And then the uh, code name Cobra Viper on it. Pretty straightforward. Accessory wise we have this really cool looking backpack. It's got the uh, Cobra symbol on it and then these cool grenades on it and a canteen. A lot of good detail work put into this thing. Very nice looking. Then we've got the traditional assault rifle for the uh, Cobra Vipers. And I myself have always liked this particular rifle. It's uh, always been one of my favorite weapons. So usually in the old vintage line, anytime I needed a regular assault rifle, this is usually my go-to weapon. And the new version from the 25th anniversary line does not disappoint. It works really well. Very cool. And then we have the actual figure itself, the Cobra Viper. Uh, it's got a lot of cool detail work in it. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with the articulation. So the head, um, well, let's start with that. Uh, they do come with the goggles on the top of his helmet, and they are removable. So you can pop them off and put them back on. Uh, but unfortunately, they do kind of fit on there 
uh, rather loosely, so they have a tendency to pop off pretty easily, as you just noticed. But luckily, pretty easy to keep up with. Uh, but the head rotates 360 degrees and then does up and down motion, so pretty good. Uh, the shoulder joint is the same ball and swivel that we're used to. He's got a ball and swivel at the elbow as well. And then the wrist itself um, is at the top of the um, forearm, I guess you could say. Uh, and it's just a swivel joint. And uh, one of the big complaints that most people have is the fact that the actual forearm itself is kind of in this fixed position and is kind of angled weirdly. So it kind of makes holding other weapons a little bit awkward. But it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it works really well for this figure with the weapons he comes with. It's just kind of hard to deal with other weapons. So take that for what you will. Uh, it does have the ab crunch feature. Um, his vest kind of limits it a little bit, but uh, you still get a pretty good range of motion here, so no big issues there. Uh, then at the uh, hip joint, we've got the standard articulation there on that little T-hook piece. Then you've got double knee joints and a ball and rocker at the ankle. So all in all, really good articulation, so very nice. Again, he's got a lot of detail work in here, so his uh, flak vest has a lot of cool stuff on it. He's got his grenades here. He's got the cobra symbols on it. It's got a really nice color palette going on with the kind of crimson red, the different shades of red on the vest and then the symbols and things. Then cool pouches on his legs. Just an overall nice design on this figure. Uh, flipping him over to the back, you can kind of see he's got this weird thing in his helmet. Um, but it works. The rest of his uh, flag vest is kind of plain, but it's kind of still cool. It works well for what it is. So we can stick his uh, goggles back on his head here. Then his uh, backpack fits on there rather easily and works really well. Then again, he's only got the one rifle, the one accessory, so see how well it fits in his arms actually fits in there rather easily uh, again because of the way that the uh, forearms are kind of made it's um, hard to get a lot of good poses um, but still it works pretty well uh, so you can't really grab the end of the gun too easily or anything like that. You kind of have to work to get it in place if he's going to try to grab his uh, that grenade launcher at the end. But you can kind of see it. It does work. And again, this uh, the goggles keep popping off. But yeah, overall, it's a really cool figure. Um, I've always liked the Vipers themselves. They're kind of like the elite soldiers. Uh, and the uh, chrome on the faceplate is really nice. It's pretty reflective. So it's a nice job there. So all in all, it's a really nice figure. A few small issues. you know, Obviously, the goggles popping off can be uh, aggravating, to say the least. And the fact that his um, hands are kind of molded in the position they're in kind of makes it a little bit difficult for... Some really cool battle action poses, but uh, still, it works. And there goes the goggles again. So, uh, Luckily, these things are fairly cheap to come by, so if you haven't picked one up already, you can get them pretty easily. They shouldn't set you back too awful much, and uh, overall, it's a just a nice figure. So I would say pick them up if you haven't already. One last thing I'll note, 
Uh, I don't know how well this shows up on the camera or not, but uh, the tips of the boots are painted in this nice kind of um, almost chrome color. So it gives some nice detail to the boots. So I hadn't really noticed that before until I got to looking just now, and it kind of makes it pop a little bit more. So pretty cool. That's our review for the G.I. Joe 25th Anniversary Cobra Viper figure. All in all, it's a really awesome figure. Um, they have since updated this figure just a little bit. But it's nice to kind of go back and get this uh, original release. It has a lot of things going for it. And it is a really awesome figure. The Viper itself is just an outstanding character. Very cool for army building if you're into that kind of thing. So I don't know why you wouldn't want to pick one of these up. It's pretty much a really good figure. So go get 10 of them. So that's pretty much all the time we've got for today. So thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe to our channel below. Leave some comments for us. Let us know how we're doing. And if you'd like to see anything else in the future, put that down there as well. Until next time, happy hunting and yo Joe.